Hey guys, if you are struggling with the couch stretch, this is an extremely effective stretch for working on your quadriceps and your hip flexors, but it is really difficult to do. So if you are not anywhere near to being able to do the full variation of the couch stretch, I'm gonna show you a few variations in this video to help you build up to it using walls, using yoga straps, um, using the couch itself, and then you'll be able to get the stretch in the proper area, but according to your level of flexibility, instead of forcing yourself into something that you're not ready. So enjoy this video, guys. I think it's really going to help. The first way that we're going to do this is with the couch. And you're going to imagine that my chair here is a couch. You're going to put your knee right in front of the couch, your foot up on top of that couch. Step, let's just assume we're stretching the left leg. Your right leg is going to step forward like you're doing a lunge. And you're going to use blocks. So put blocks out in front of you. Allow your hips to come forward as much as you can. And this is variation number one. If you need this to be even less intense, what you can do is you can let your hands come down and like this and kind of bring your knee outside your hands. And this is going to be the least intense version of the stretch. All right, so your, your feet, your toes are not, your leg is not straight. All right, so your toe is not flat against a wall. It's resting on the couch. Your knee is bent less. Your hips are more forward. Now, to make this more challenging, you're going to come more upright. You're going to bring your butt progressively closer to your foot. And as you're doing this, you want to make sure that your lower back stays neutral. So don't let your lower back arch as you come closer with your back to the wall or the couch. You want to think about reaching your tailbone down, keeping your core tight, as you bring your body back, and this allows you to focus on the stretch. Um, if you're feeling this through your knee, if you're not feeling the stretch through the thigh, kind of where the hip meets your waist and down toward the quadriceps, if you're feeling it in the knee instead, you're probably doing this wrong. I want you to come forward a little bit to less depth. Make sure that you're feeling the stretch in your quadricep and in the hip flexor, and then slowly come up. Make sure that you're feeling the stretch, though. And again, you're not feeling pulling through your knee. And then to make this even more challenging, you're going to bring your arms overhead and actually lean back so that you're getting your, trying to get your back flat, trying to get the butt to touch your heel, and coming more into a position where you're like this, that you see me now. This is going to be the deepest version of the couch stretch. And this is one that you're going to want to hold for an extended, pure, extended period of time. You're going to hold this for you know, at least one minute, and sometimes two minutes is a good amount. And as you're doing it, you really want to squeeze your glutes. Okay, Don't just go into it passively. You want to go into it and continue to squeeze your hamstrings and your glutes, and that's going to help you open more through the front of that hip and your quadriceps. Okay, Let's move on to the next variation. For this next variation, we're going to be using the wall instead of a chair or a couch. And I've got my dog bed here up against the wall because this is just kind of a hard wall. I don't want to scratch my foot on it. I'm also going to use a knee pad so that my knee doesn't have to rest on the hard floor unnecessarily. So I'm going to put this all the way up against the wall the best I can. I might have to do some finagling here to get this to work. I'm going to put my, still working on my left knee, I'm going to put my left knee all the way up against the wall. My toes are untucked, so now my foot is flat. This does make it a little bit more difficult as opposed to when your foot is flexed and your toes are more toward uh, the shin. From here, if you want to use the blocks again, you can use the blocks to help support. You're going to bring the right leg out like you're doing a lunge. Start with your chest on top of your thigh like this. This is the least intense variation of this. And then to increase the intensity of the stretch, you're going to bring your hips closer to the wall. You want to reach your tailbone down, keeping your core tight as you bring your butt toward your foot. And you're going to push your upper body into the wall. Now, it's a mistake if I do this and I let my back arch. So if you see me doing this, I'm actually not getting as much of a stretch as I, as I should be. Instead, you want to keep that tailbone reaching down, stay tight through your core. And you want to look more like this as you do this stretch. If you want to make this even more intense, you can bring the arms up, press everything into the wall, and then hold here. Now, as you're doing this, again, you still want to have that glute engagement through the back hip, whichever leg you're stretching. Try to squeeze that glute, squeeze those hamstrings as much as you can. 
and stay strong through this right leg as well. So this is how you're gonna do the couch stretch if you're on the wall. Again, starting down here with your hands on the ground, leaning forward to make this easier, and then easing into getting your lower back flat on the wall, keeping that left glute engaged as you're holding the stretch. And again, same thing here, you wanna do it for at least a minute or two minutes. All right, we're gonna move on to our next variation now, but guys, if you're enjoying this series, I've actually got a free seven-day beginner's yoga for men challenge. It'll walk you through many of these modifications and much, much more. It's free. Sign up at the link in the description below once this workout is finished. All right, now we're gonna go through modifications away from the wall for the couch stretch. So, the couch stretch, if you're doing it unmodified, it's gonna look like something like this. You're setting up for a lunge, your feet are a little bit further apart than they normally would be, and you're reaching back with either the corresponding foot, so if my right leg is back, I'm reaching, if my left leg is back, I'm reaching back with my left hand, like so. Same thing here, I'm getting solid glute engagement, I'm reaching my tailbone down, keeping my core tight, and you can do it like this. You can also reach back with the other hand, and this is gonna change the stretch a little bit, but it's still a couch stretch. So depending on if your foot goes more to the outside or more to the inside, you're just gonna feel that stretch shift a little bit, but both of these variations are a couch stretch. Now to build up to doing that, we're gonna use a strap. So you're going to get a yoga strap, you're going to make the D-ring such that you have a little grab for your foot or a little thing for your to hook your foot in. You're gonna put your foot around that strap like so. And then you're gonna put the strap over your shoulder like this. Right leg steps forward. I'm stretching my left leg. And then using your left hip strength, squeeze that left heel in toward the butt and then hold the strap. Get to a point where you're feeling a stretch it actually helps to resist the strap, so push your foot into the strap initially, and then as you release, you'll be able to go deeper into that stretch. So this is a way that you can modify this stretch to make it easier if you're not quite up to being able to grab the back of that foot or the top of that foot with one of the hands. I'd also recommend that you use a knee pad in this situation. Uh, be aware that when you are doing this stretch, you don't want to rest directly on the knee. You're actually resting just above the knee on your thigh. So make sure you're not resting directly on that kneecap because that's going to hurt. And again, it does help to use something like a knee pad like this as you're doing it. So this is your variation using the strap, right? You're gonna hold like that, allow your hips to come forward to go deeper into the hip flexors and then pull the heel closer in to go deeper into the quadriceps. So that's the modification with the strap. We also can use the blocks to make this a little bit easier. So you're gonna place the blocks near the top corners of your mat. You're gonna place your, let's go left hand on the block to start. Squeeze that left heel in toward the butt. Again, it does help to be active through that leg. This does take some time to develop. And then you're gonna reach back with your right hand. Grab the foot. You can either grab the inside, the big toe side, or you can grab the pinky toe side. Again, this does change the stretch slightly. So if you pull the heel closer to the right side, you'll feel the stretch a little bit differently. If you pull it to the outside, you feel the stretch a little bit differently. You can do it either way. Not a big, uh, not a big difference. And then using the block here, it just provides a little bit more support as opposed to going all the way down onto the ground. I personally enjoy using the block, even though I... I'd like to think I'm pretty flexible. I like using the block in these situations a lot of the time. So please don't shy away from using the blocks, the tools. They're there to make the pose work better for you. It's much better to use the proper modification than to force yourself into something that you're not ready for. So there's the block modification. And then when you're feeling all the way up to it, then we move the block away. We're able to grab the foot. Again, with time, that heel gets closer in toward your glute, keeping the tailbone reaching down, your core tight, chest coming upright. And whichever variation you choose, you're doing 60 seconds to 120 seconds, focusing on keeping your breathing slow and in control, making sure that you're not feeling the tension in your knee, but feeling in the muscles. And you're also not pushing so far into your range of motion that it's a 10 out of 10 intensity the whole time and you're not able to feel the stretch at all. Ease into it and then go a little bit deeper with each breath. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. We actually have a whole series of these videos. You can check them out here for free on the Manful Yoga YouTube channel. We've got more on the way, so subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you have some feedback or you want to share your experience with this tutorial. And guys, if you're interested in these shorts, these are chubbies. You can get 20% savings in the link in the description below. And if you're ready to get started on one of those modifications, check out this workout. This is a down dog modification tutorial. This is going to show you how to improve your down dog. All right, guys. See you on the next video.